What's going on guys and welcome to the next weekly ramble video. This is actually going to be the last weekly ramble of this year. Uh, I will not be back next week and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in just a little bit. Before we get into all that, I just want to let you know the 2018 celebration giveaway is going on right now. You do still have a chance to enter so make sure you do that. The winner will be chosen on the 31st of December, so New Year's Eve. Uh, make sure you're entered in all three ways. You can do it via Twitter, via YouTube, and via Instagram. All the details are in the post, so just make sure that you go there and do all of that stuff. That way you have the best chance to win all of the standard packs as well as some Ultimate Masters packs, uh, all of which hopefully is something you're really excited about. So just a quick reminder there. Uh, first thing I'm gonna kind of knock off the list really quick. Uh, Will did have his baby very successfully. He and his uh, wonderful wife had their baby. She is a girl. Her name is Amelia and she is adorable. I haven't actually gotten to go see her in person yet, uh, but I have seen a few pictures and I know Will is just off the charts excited about this. Uh, so wish him all of your love in the comment section below. I know he really appreciates it. I have been letting him know that you guys have been sending all the well wishes and everything like that and he, he really does appreciate it. So thank you guys for that. They are doing fantastic. I'm hoping that we can get Will back on at some point in January. We'll see what how things kind of pan out, obviously, uh, but that's kind of the plan for now. Uh, so just a quick heads up there, uh, and I will, of course, uh, update you guys on anything else that goes on in that, that realm. Uh, something else I want to talk about, and this is actually magic related. Uh, so uh, Cardsphere, as you guys know, Cardsphere is a big sponsor of our channel. We cannot thank them enough for all that they do for us. They really do help us kind of keep things going uh, and just kind of get our name out there a little bit. And they've been a, we've we've seen a big difference in viewership and things like that just because of them. Uh, so I want to thank them first off for everything that they've done for us so far this year. Uh, we're hoping in the next year to even grow that partnership and hopefully get it even further along. But uh, a little plug for Card Sphere right now, they just released a brand new drafting practice tool. Uh, so I actually use these a lot. Uh, I run everything on Mac, so I don't really get the opportunity to play MTGO unless I want to run a virtual machine or anything like that, which I, tr I tend not to get into. I have done it before and it's fine, but just doesn't run as smoothly. I don't have a PC to play it on, and normally if I'm going to play Magic, I like to play in person. Uh, but when a new set is released, what I like to do is go through the process of drafting the set and just kind of practice with it a number of times. That way, I know what I'm looking for, I know what the good picks are, I know what the bad picks are, uh, and I can sort of feel out the format just a little bit before I actually go into an actual draft. This is also something I highly recommend you do just anyway, especially if you're actually going to play at a tournament or anything like that. Uh, it's a useful way to just kind of sit down, you don't need anybody else but yourself and an internet connection, and you can go through and just practice draft a little bit. Uh, so Card Sphere who has normally just been a buying and selling kind of online trade market. They're fantastic at that. You should check them out if you're interested in buying some singles or anything like that or selling them. Uh, have actually released draft.cardsphere.com. Uh, and what this is, is actually a full on drafting tool. You can use it right now. They have the last, uh, I don't remember exactly how many sets, but they've got a few sets. I believe that everything in standard is there, uh, as well as Ultimate Masters, which has been the set that they kind of released it on. Uh, and it's really, really fun. Uh, it's a very, very useful tool. They actually named some of the bots after other uh, sponsorship people, you know, people in their community and everything like that. Uh, and it's really, really cool. I've used it a lot uh, already and it's fantastic. It only released, I think, less than a week ago, uh, but it's absolutely fantastic, a really, really useful tool. So if you're looking to actually draft and just kind of sit down, practice with it, feel out a new format, maybe with Allegiance coming out, that's a really good opportunity for you to sit down and just try out that tool. It's really, really nice. Something I really like about it that other tools do not have is that because this is integrated into a market uh, like buying and selling market, uh, you actually get prices of the cards that you're drafting as you're drafting them. Uh, some things that I feel like uh, it could improve on that I've actually, I, I kind of have a little bit of an ongoing list that I want to send over to the guys over there and just see what they're, if they're working on things for that and stuff. But 
uh, that price is actually really, really nice because if you're finding that you like this card a lot or you wanna actually build a constructed deck with it, you can actually see the price right there and actually go in and add it to your want list, do whatever you wanna do with it, and then hopefully pick that card up if you put some money into cards here. So they make it really, really easy for that whole process to actually take place, and I love that. Uh, I have used the draft side of things a number of times, like I said already. It's fantastic. Definitely, definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you are looking to play competitively or anything like that. So go check it out. Again, really huge congratulations to Cardsphere for actually getting that out. They, they sent it to us, and honestly, I couldn't be more stoked. I use tools like that all the time, so to have that under Cardsphere's belt is just fantastic. Uh, they really did a clean job with it. It looks great. Uh, really, really useful. So. Just a heads up there, definitely check it out. Last thing I want to talk about, uh, and I don't, I, I'm kind of debating on whether or not to say I'm taking the entire week off or not, uh, but next week obviously is Christmas for us, uh, and so I am, I know for a fact I'm going to take the first part of the week off of video making just in general. Uh, I could release videos, but hopefully you guys are going to be with your family and your friends. I don't really want you to be watching our videos if you're with your family and your friends. You guys should enjoy your time together. Uh, so the last thing I wanna do is say, hey, go watch this video on Christmas day when you're with your family. That doesn't seem right to me. Uh, plus, I'm gonna be busy with my family and friends, so I just flat out will not have time to record. So uh, the idea is I'm probably gonna take at least the majority of, of, of next week off. Uh, I don't have anything pre-recorded for that week. I will use that time if I get the opportunity to kind of pre-record some stuff for the next, you know, the upcoming weeks, hopefully to ease things up at the start of the year. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. That's kind of the plan right now. Again, it's, it's kind of vacation time. I want you guys to enjoy your vacation. I want to enjoy my vacation. Uh, and so that's really why that's happening. Uh, I also do have a few other projects in the works unrelated to It Resolves that I want to spend some time on. Uh, and so I know at least one or two days in there, I'm probably going to spend some time working on those things. So just a heads up, we probably will not have very many, if any, videos at all next week. But we will, of course, be back at the first week of January with our normal schedule. Nothing will change. The podcast will not be back the first week of January. Uh, the plan is to bring it back hopefully late January. We don't have an exact date. As soon as we do, obviously, I'm going to let you guys know. So we'll do the best we can. We really want to kind of bring it back with Allegiance. Uh, as we said before, with Will having a baby and everything like that, it just it's not really feasible for him to come in and actually record it and do all that stuff. So uh, the plan is we kind of want to bring it back with Allegiance, make sure that we're hitting it on a new and hopefully a high note with this new set, which if you haven't seen some of the spoilers already, you really should look them up. Uh, they are interesting and fantastic, actually. So that's kind of the plan. I just want to keep you guys updated on that. In the meantime, we're going to try and do some more deck techs. I just released one actually yesterday on Standard Dredge, which is a really sweet deck, by the way. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, you really should. But uh, So we're going to do some deck techs in the interim. I'm going to do the best I can to get one out a week. I can't promise that I'll do that just because, again, vacation time and things like that. Again, I'm hoping to pre-record some of these videos. So that way we can get stuff out. Uh, but that's kind of the plan for right now. So just a heads up, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of finishing out the year and how we're doing. I also really want to thank you guys. We did hit 550 subscribers officially just the other day, uh, which as some of you may know, if you've watched some of these videos already, uh, was our like super stretch goal. Our original goal was 400, then we said 500, and then we said 550 as our super stretch goal. Uh, and we finally hit it. So. Thanks to you guys for actually being super supportive and an absolutely fantastic community. We could not ask to be a part of something as awesome as this. I mean, truly, it's really, really cool to be able to sit and record these videos, interact with some of you awesome people, uh, and then actually sit down. We end up having conversations with some of you guys that are really, really interesting and really, really fun. Uh, of course, a lot of you are just supporting us and we really appreciate that as well. But please, if you wanna have a conversation, talk to us, send us a comment, send us a private message, whatever, about a deck that you're building or a deck that you used to run that you're really excited about or a game that you just had or something like that because that's really the best part about doing all of this. Uh, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. So with that being said, uh, I do wanna remind you the 2018 celebration giveaway, don't forget to enter. 
But I truly, truly hope that you guys have a fantastic holiday season. Uh, we will not be back, obviously, uh, after tomorrow until uh, the new year. So I hope you guys finish out the, str the year strong and have an awesome time playing some magic, spending some time with family and friends, hopefully, uh, and having a fantastic not only Christmas, but New Year, uh, whatever you celebrate all around the world if you're watching, uh, enjoy it. But I am going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for making this year absolutely amazing. It's been a fantastic 2018. I absolutely cannot wait for 2019. See what we have in store. But with that, I'm out, guys. I will see you guys at the beginning of the new year.